what's up guys got Dave here and I got some new mirrors for the bike um a little shout out to sumo duro I uh, I got the idea from him from his videos and his bikes and it really makes it feel like you're riding a dirt bike you know when the mirrors are down there you forget that you got mirrors and it makes it really nice I don't like them as much as the uh, as the OEM mirrors and I don't like them as like as far as the view as far as practicality as far as the use it's not as easy as just looking to the side right there and there's your view behind you, you know, you, like you gotta look down Which does take your focus off of the road not as good as my CRG bar end mirrors either I see a lot of guys with these bikes um, They only require that you have one mirror like by law on the left side and so a lot of guys will just put like one of those uh, the CRG lane splitter mirrors like I've got on my RC8 They'll just put like one like right on this bar end and that's it. That's what I've seen a lot of guys do. Yeah, stay green, stay green. Nice. So anyway, shout out to Sumaduro. Freaking thanks for the idea for the mirrors. Um, in case you're wondering, these are the Tusk um, dual sport mirrors. They move a little bit, but not too bad. That's what I wanted to see is when I get up on the freeway and the wind's really pushing on these mirrors, you know, do they like fold way back and I can't see anything or do they stay pretty much where they're supposed to be? Yeah, they move a little bit. The mirrors try to, they get pushed back a little bit. But this bike is super bumpy. So this is the freaking rattle machine right here. The knobby tires and the single cylinder and it's pretty nutty. I don't think the tires are balanced, it, like the wheels. I don't think they're balanced because I didn't see any weights on them. I don't see any weights on the hoops. So I'm pretty sure they are not balanced. But these mirrors are definitely better than the stock ones. And they were only, they were like $11 each or like $12 each. <laughs> they were super cheap. Damn. So if you're looking for some really, really cheap mirrors for your dual sport or supermoto, I would say get these Tusk mirrors. And they're only like 12 bucks each. It's like less than $25 for both of your mirrors. They just clamp on with one screw. It's not a big deal. Pretty good. They seem cheesy, but you know, like when I was putting them on, I was like, dude, these things are cheesy. But I think that's just the way they are. They're staying in adjustment, so that's that's all that matters to me, is that they stay in adjustment and that they don't have too much vibration that I can't actually use them. Like if they move while you're riding, or if they're just like so, so much vibration you can't even see out of them, then what's the point? Either way, they're no good to me. And these mirrors, they don't vibrate too bad. You know, I can still see what's going on back there. And they, uh, they stay in adjustment. So I would say that they're a pretty good mirror. <laughs> and for the price, they're a very, very good mirror. So that's it for the mirrors. Um, I like them. It, it definitely makes it feel more like riding a dirt bike. Because they're out of your way, you know? It's like you don't even see them <laughs> until, you, until you think about it. So take it easy. Have a nice day. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace.